hey guys welcome back uh, in today's video what we'll do is we'll try to um, work on our signal peer connections function so firstly uh, it's connections there was a typo there so we'll say p dot list lock dot lock and start with differ func you want to call two functions at the end one is the list lock dot unlock so at the end you want to unlock obviously and additionally we want to call the dispatch keyframe function which we'll work on after a while not right now there is a huge function here it's going to be the attempt to sync and in this function there's going to be a lot of things happening so we'll start off with by ranging over our peer connections And if p dot connections i dot peer connection dot connection state is equal to web rtc dot if it's closed basically, so we want to say peer connection state closed. Then you want to say p dot connections equal to depend p dot connections i comma p dot connections i plus one dot 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 and you want to print a comma p dot connections Turn true. Then you need uh, to work with senders and receivers. So let's first work with the senders. So existing senders. Create a map of string and boolean. Initialize with empty. Range over the connections. Dot peer connection dot get centers get centers again is a function with uh, your peer connection where peer connection is basically your webrtc so it's a webrtc function uh, going back here get centers so you'll say if sender dot track so I, I highly recommend reading uh, the webrtc documentation in case you're not aware about the get centers function so in this project, we're just bringing together all the concepts from WebRTC that you may have already used. Dot ID equal to true. Then you're gonna say p dot track locals sender of track dot ID. If not okay, you want to say p dot connections dot i. Basically, you want to remove track, right? So, this is the right way to call the remove track function by passing the sender to it. If error is not equal to nil, you want to return true. Basically, so you're returning a boolean. Should you be trying again because you're trying to sync with all the rest of the peers? It's a very, very standard uh, process, by the way, to attempt to sync with all the peers. Uh, somewhere around here, we'll also work with our receiver. So, so, so we'll say for underscore receiver is going to range the connections p dot connections i dot peer connection dot get receivers. Receiver dot track is nil. Then you want to continue. And you say exchange existing senders receiver dot track dot ID equal to true. 
Then after this, you want to say for track ID and you want to range through the track locals, peers dot track locals, sorry, track locals, existing senders, track ID. Basically, you want to add tracks, right? So the right way to do this is say p dot connections i dot peer connection dot add track p dot track locals track id error is not equal to nil. And finally, you'll just say return true. Okay. Now this seems a little off because this bracket should close here. So now everything looks all right to me at least. Okay, so we will continue uh, the rest of this function because there's there's quite a bit left in the next video. So I will wrap this up right now and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.